I'm with uh, John Sandy Atkinson here in a shearing shed out at Koala and I'm just asking John to recall some of the early days when he was shearing in the Golden Valley. Yes, I've got some very beautiful memories actually of, uh, of shearing. I, I, my dad taught me to shear when I was about 16 years of age. Coming from Kamaragandja Mission, you know, when you grew up there and you didn't have much schooling in them days, and as a matter of fact, you were long left school at, at the age of 16. And, uh, and so uh, it was good, uh, even though it was very hard work. You know, Dad was a master uh, teacher and he taught you how to shear with, and, uh, and you had those skills to make, make this hard job easy, you know. And, uh, and today, you know, with Herrick here uh, coming out to this magnificent old shearing shed here and holding this handpiece in my hand and seeing the wool around here and the, and the sheep pens over there, you know, it was really a very exciting experience because, uh, you know, when I become involved in, uh, in Aboriginal affairs and I started to go away and do other things and uh, I could have been shearing for another 30 years, but... Uh, but, uh, you know, the, my, the experience and the memories of this shearing was great because uh, I was thinking the other day, you know, how lucky uh, we were uh, in, in regard to my dad. You know, he was, a, he was what we call a herb and shearer, you know, and, uh, and people might not think very much about this. Uh, you know, you were well off when you were a herb and shearer because all these beautiful people like Eric here and uh, you got to know them personally and uh, you came back every year and they looked after you, you know. And very often when you, uh, sometime during the year when the shearing wasn't going, they'd probably give you a job doing things on the farm, you know. So the urban shearer had a very much lot better lifestyle than the, the man out there wandering around the country from big shed to big shed, you know. He didn't even get to know the boss man and, uh, and so on, you know. But the urban situation, they were beautiful people. We got to know them. And even to this very day, I, I still know a lot of the farmers where I used to shear. In fact, I've got one living right next door to me, you know, that, uh, that I, him, his dad, I sure for them when I started off, but it's, uh, it's very, they're very beautiful memories, uh, even though shearing was a very hard, hard job, you got, you were very fit, you know, I used to love shearing, you know, and uh, the first two or three weeks, of course, you grizzle a bit because your back had to uh, get settled in and, and so on, but uh, I had a wonderful back. And so did my dad. I come from a family that uh, they were all cheered and, uh, and they all had very good backs, you know. <laughs> well, it can't have hurt you too much. No, How it didn't. old are you now? I'm 81 now. And, uh, it, it didn't hurt me at all. I'd, uh, I'd like to think that it did me good, you know, and, uh, and give me a long life. And the good Lord up there looked after me a bit too. And uh, so, you know, today was a very exciting day for me.